Hello and welcome to a sunny evening here in Stuttgart, Germany, and welcome to the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo. This is going to be my ride for the next couple weeks here in Europe. We're going to be filming plenty of videos with this, but it is not the first time we have driven Taycan Cross Turismo on this channel. If you remember, I was actually one of the very first people in the world to have the opportunity to drive a pre-production prototype Taycan Cross Turismo in Los Angeles. That video is here on this channel a few months back, and what a cool experience it was. Now though, Porsche have kindly lent us this Taycan Cross Turismo for some European adventures that include track work, top speed work, charging, the whole bit. I'll take you through the specifications, show you around the car, and then of course we're going to get it out and take it for its first drive. <laughs> This here is the Taycan Cross Turismo Turbo. This one is a 2021 model, but it's specced so well. This particular one in gray exterior, I'm already loving the Euro spec clear turn indicators. This on the US cars are actually bronze. And so I think it looks so much better like this for sure. It's specced wonderfully with the carbon ceramic brakes. This is an almost $8,000 option in the US, depending on the trim level of Taycan that you choose. It has some of the off-road design flares here. You can see some of these aero flares. Now, the interesting thing about the Cross Turismo is that this is the wagon-ish version of the Taycan. You know, the normal Taycan sedan sort of looks like this Panamera here where it slopes down in the back. I don't see one in view. We're at the Porsche factory. This car was just built on the other side of this building not too long ago. And um, the, the Cross Turismo here leaves this really nice space in the back. So trunk space is good. And I think the styling is just amazing. This is exactly how I would get a Taycan. I would 100% get a Cross Turismo. But the thing to understand is this is not a sport Turismo like this Panamera over here. The Panamera Sport Turismo is meant to be an on-road sporty wagon, whereas the Cross Turismo gets this plastic cladding, a higher ride height, and more actually off-road cred. Now, this is no Land Rover Defender that you're going to be taking off-road through rock obstacles or anything, but this is meant to be sort of an all-rounder. A perfect Colorado car, if you will. Anyway, let's take a look more into the car and then we'll get it out on the road. You can see behind me here, these Porsche design chargers. These are 350 kilowatt posts. I think some of the most beautiful in the world. And the thing to keep in mind with Porsche is, you know, first of all, this is a company that's near and dear to my heart. I love Porsche, I love the brand, I love what it stands for, I love the performance, but I also love the culture. Um, and <laughs> they're just so great. But the Porsche uh, company is broken up into basically three main sections. You have Porsche car engineering and production behind me. You have Porsche uh, engineering, which is where they do all of the testing, the the product, but they also do outsourcing work, at least back in the day, saving the company by making cars like the Mercedes 500E and others as a contract work, uh, workshop. So Porsche Engineering's one arm, Porsche car production is one arm. The other arm is Porsche design. So that is who made these chargers right here. And the teams always collaborate, of course, for any new product. So this Taycan, let me continue showing you around the spec and I really can't wait to drive it. So carbon ceramics, power charge port. This side's just gonna be the level two AC. You can see right here, type two. This one has the 22 kilowatt onboard charger. But on this side of the car, you can open up this port here. Uh, actually you can't because the other one's open. But once that closes automatically, this is where you have your DC charging port. There we go. And this will do 270 kilowatt DC. We're gonna log the charging curve. This is a 2021 car. For 2022, uh, the charging curve's gonna actually change a little bit and be even better. And so I'm really excited to see how this car charges. We have full LED headlights, of course. The 20 inch sort of off-road design wheels, I think is what they're called in the US. I'm not totally sure. But then we get to, I think, the best part about this car's specification, which is the interior. Passenger display, very nice chalk seats on the inside, beautiful seats, and then the glass roof. It's a really, really wonderful spec car. Alcantara steering wheel over here. It'll be nice to live with an Alcantara wheel. I've never spent this much time in a car with one. And I don't have a great impression of them from the past, so we'll see what I think about this wheel going forwards. But overall, isn't this thing just 
badass, really fast, of course. Tycon Turbo is one down from Tycon Turbo S, but two-speed gearbox, 93 kilowatt hour battery pack installed. This one's two motors, of course, front and rear. It's just an absolute monster when you drive it quickly. <laughs> I've driven Tycon Turbo S, I've driven Tycon Turbo non Cross Turismo, and so now this will be my chance to have a go in the Tycon Cross Turismo Turbo. And we're joined by a special guest who I will introduce to you when we jump inside of this machine. You guys are always complaining about how dirty my car is in videos and a company called EV Wash has reached out to solve this problem. This is a reusable, sustainable washing system that's branded specifically towards EVs. Take a look at this. It comes in this really nice carrying case. I can open it up. I have all of the towels I need, all of the different equipment I need, for example, glass cleaner. And when this really nice bottle runs out, they, you can purchase a refillable, 100% biodegradable refill pack, fill up your bottle, and that way it's much more sustainable than normal car cleaning products. EV Wash, use the code out of spec 30 for 30% off your order. Link is in the description. Hey guys, you join us in the Tycon now with my friend Chris Rifa. If you watch YouTube and you're into electric cars, you probably <laughs> already know who he is. Uh, but Chris, you're a Norwegian-based YouTuber in the yes. perfect place to test yeah, EVs. Yeah. <laughs> and your channel is uh, very similar to what we do here, but you test uh, just electric cars yeah. for the most part and you do these big road trips and races mm -hmm. with uh, collaborations with other YouTubers. Sure. And so it's a really awesome channel, the Chris Rifa YouTube channel. Yeah, awesome, right? thank Got you. Got it, cool, <laughs> cool. Well, anyway, what do you think about the Tycon, by the way? Well, I actually have one on order. Yeah. So, I mean, that probably says a lot, but I love the Tycon Cross Turismo, though I'm not a huge fan of the normal Tycon. That's why I just took delivery of an Audi e-tron GT last week. Mm -hmm. as... Which we've been having fun with, of course. Yeah, but this car is so cool and so beautiful. So yeah, I love this. Yeah, and the spec on this car is really mm -hmm. good. So just to run you through some of the highlight numbers on this, uh, this is the Turbo, not the Turbo S. So the Taycan has, in Cross Turismo trim, they have a four a 4S, a Turbo, and a Turbo S. And I know you're all gonna say, but it doesn't have a turbo on it. Well, this is uh, Porsche speak for trim levels. We've been past this. This was a last year <laughs> conversation. Uh, this has about 670 horsepower with launch control uh, when you max it all out in Sport Plus mode. Uh, power is 500 kilowatts. That's over boost with launch control. Rolling into it normally, it's 460 horsepower, uh, it's 460 kilowatts and 616 horsepower horsepower so definitely is not going to be a slouch it's a wagon which means it can haul all the things um, I don't know the EPA ratings for this car off the top of my head but if going by normal Tycon is anything to go by well this is going to far exceed the rated range of the vehicle especially as EPA tests everything in key up setting and when you select range mode which doesn't alter the driving dynamics really at all uh, it just goes front wheel drive in the all wheel drive model. So Chris, should we take this for a little drive? Yes, please. Oh, I'm so excited for the turbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is one of the spicy versions yeah. of the Taycan, of course. We have an Alcantara steering wheel, which is gonna be pretty interesting mm -hmm. to live with. So we can just go through here. I love the sizing of Taycan. Yeah. Right, it just fits so well. It's not crazy wide. No. It just has this presence, this stance. We're here in Zuffenhausen, which is, uh, a, a, I guess, an area of Stuttgart. Germany and uh, you can see Porsches everywhere of course this is the home of Porsche mm -hmm. and it's cool to be here we went on a tour of the museum yeah so cool so cool yeah we saw some you know of course everything from modern 918s all the way to like some crazy this was the big bump we hit yeah or was it my, that one in yeah, your the, no, the, the last yeah. one we yeah. hit in my e-tron GT yeah and, and this it felt this much felt, harsher yeah <laughs> definitely different yeah and we're both on 20 inch wheels so the same uh, Taurus in front and back 245 45 20s and 285 40 no 245 40 20s and 285 40 20s in the rear yeah big yeah. meaty tires on this really thing for sure tires. so um, you know going through the museum getting into the Porsche culture and now of course picking this car up what I think is interesting when we took your e-tron GT uh, through uh, Zuffenhausen here mm -hmm. it was 
everyone stopped and looked at us, right? Yeah, and yeah. Took, turned all the heads. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just because they probably haven't seen one before. They developed the yeah. chassis, <laughs> Porsche, you know, makes the car. Yeah, yeah. And then the Audi badge is slapped on somewhere else. Yeah, it's kind of fun, like, taking an Audi to uh, Stuttgart, Sufenhausen, and then all the Porsche workers are like, Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I found that to be interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah awesome. but Taycan Cross Turismo here, uh, this car is a car that uh, is unique. Mm -hmm. It's a car that's fast. It's a car that's crazy expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not cheap. This is like $180,000. Yeah, this spec would probably be 160, 150. We'll have to spec out the equivalent. <laughs> but see, the way Porsche works is you all the options in the US are sometimes a little different than the German options. Okay. But you should have your passenger display mm -hmm. here, which is kind of neat. It's cool. Yep. And uh, well, when the light turns green. Or you're, you want to go? I think we should do a, uh, we'll put the car <laughs> into Sport Plus. So this will lower us down. It stiffens yeah. the suspension. I think I'll back off the suspension stiffening. Um, so, it, well, I guess we need it to be low. It's hard to do damper control independent of ride height. Mm -hmm. This one, I don't think it has inno drive, just adaptive cruise. Maybe it does have inno drive, not sure. Anyway, what we'll do is we just need to give it the beans. You can see this one has the electric sport sound yeah, as yeah. well. So. Are we ready for a little bit of a okay, hard okay, acceleration? Okay, okay. Ready? I have to hold this because this will I'm fall. I'm gonna put my head back. Yeah. <laughs> Holy guacamole! That's oh a whole God. nother world right there. <laughs> okay, so I had the e RS e-tron GT on loan as a press car this summer, and this—I mean, this feels quicker yeah well we're at a hundred percent state of charge yeah true. so that helps it's a hot day today it was just charged up so uh, this will help but that's wow. the first time we've kicked it in this wow. thing it certainly won't be the last we're gonna do a lot of top speed runs in this car yeah oh uh, this thing wait. doesn't know what it has coming for it it only has <laughs> 2,000 kilometers it's just a baby but uh, it's gonna get put through the paces for mm -hmm. sure lots of road trips Nurburgring laps, which will be really oh, exciting to do in this car. Yeah, cool. And uh, really can't wait to shred this around the ring. Um, interesting spec, really cool experience. Love the car. I hope you guys enjoy the Taycan stuff as much as we do. The thing that I find interesting about Taycan is up until pretty much EQS now, mm -hmm. this has been the best the Germans have had to offer yeah. in the electric car space. And they've done some things really well. Charging is a real strong point on this car. 270 kilowatts in your car, it did it all the way to 50% yeah, in the e-tron GT. It's insane. We, I went from three to 80% in 20 minutes. That's just oof, <laughs> really crazy, and it's and there's just so much energy. I mean, yes, yeah. you've gained that percentage, but you've added so much energy yeah, to the yeah, car. Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, I love the seating position. I love the space. You know, for me, Taycan Cross Turismo is probably the perfect car if yeah. you have to have an all-around car because yeah. I could put the dogs in it. You can shred up a back road. Mm -hmm everything's just so lovely so chris thank you for joining us in this little video and thank you for driving me all the way here from munich well, so thanks nice for of you. thanks for having me we didn't actually film a video on the way over here no. but we maxed out the e-tron yeah, gt yeah, many yeah. times <laughs> so if you want to check out my e-tron gt and my trip from norway and down here to munich and all the videos i'm going to do there will probably be a link to oh, my 100%. channel. Oh, hundred percent. You know what? I'll put two <laughs> yeah. links to the link in this channel. There are two one links. Link. <laughs> <laughs> two links to Chris's channel in the description. If you're cool. into electric cars, you have to watch it. And actually, it's so funny. I've been a fan of your channel for That's so years. Cool. That's so cool. Before That's Chris thing. even uh, started to make electric yeah. uh, content, I was a Volvo enthusiast. Still yeah. am. I love Volvos. <laughs> Me too. And you made the best Volvo content out there. Thank and you. so I've been watching wow. you for four years, five, however long it's been i've been only watching you for a year yeah well that's okay you've been <laughs> having a dreadful life for a year then. <laughs> <laughs> no way. but anyway thank you all for watching this video you've made it this far we'll see you on the next one comment below with what you'd like us to do with the tycon and uh yeah i'm just so happy to be in germany with a true german vehicle <laughs>